टाइम इज वॉट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इच डे इज वेर एवरीथिंग फॉल्स डाउन टू एंड हाउ यू टेक दिस वन आवर एट अ टाइम डिफाइंस यू ये बंदे मस्त है और इनका काम जबरदस्त है ये जिंदगी जीने के मायने सिखाते हैं ये डट कर आगे खड़े होते हैं और आपको रास्ता दिखाते हैं इनकी ईमानदारी और जिंदगी जीने के तरीके सच्चे हैं और इसीलिए तो ये बंदे अच्छे हैं जी हां ये बंदे अच्छे हैं एंड दे आर डेफिनेटली आर ट्रू एडवाइजर्स हु जस्ट डिड नॉट टेल यू हाउ टू एक्ट इन स्पेशल सर्कमस्टांसिस बट इंस्टेड दे गेव आउट देम सेल्फ द आर्ट एंड स्पिरिट एंड डिजायर टू एक्ट राइट टू मेक यू बिलीव राइट द एनर्जी ऑफ दीज लाइफ इंफ्लुएंसिस इज इन्फेक्शियस दे आर ड्रीमर्स ड्रीमर्स हु डे टू सी अ विजन and were bold enough to achieve it these influences are on a mission to empower people and believe me when i say it it's not an easy profession to be in well welcome to bande acche hain episode number 2 and i'm very happy for the one who's joining us i'm really thrilled i'm really excited because when he comes on he is a nurture to a next generation and he is a leader who believes in humanity born to professor dr p r rangaswamy phd a principal at panchaya pass college in chennai and mrs r mohana from a family rooted in tamil nadu politics our guest today comes with not one not two but three decades of industry experience 30 years I would need a few hours to even touch upon a few aspects of his illustrious life. So let me try to share just a few highlights before you get to see him. Well, his educational background, one of the state topper, qualifying for awards for the entire state of Tamil Nadu in SSLC examinations in the year 1986. He holds a bachelor in engineering from University of Madras and master degree in engineering from NIT Trichy. He went on to do his GME diploma in safety diploma uh, in quality control management, MBA, MCom banking and insurance management and M science in psychotherapy and counseling. He's also sailed on several ocean going merchant marine shipping. Mechanical engineer by his qualification Marine Engineering by his COC Certificate of Comp Competency, Doctorate in Management in Passion for his learning, Psychotherapist and Counseling Psychologist and Financial and Legal Advisor through his certifications, and above all, an Insurance Advisor with all his heart. That's none other than our guest today, the one and only Dr. Anbu Rangaswamy with us here at Bandeya Chair, Dr. Anbu. Namaskaram, what a come! Very happy to have you. Tell me, how do you feel right now being part of this chat show? Ha, what a come, Mithun! Thank you for the wonderful introduction. So, I mean, I feel so happy and delighted to hear all lovely words from you. Thank you. We heard that you come from a family with a reputed background with high level contacts across the Tamil Nadu government. If you could share your childhood experience for the same. I was more a pampered child in the early days. Uh, because my grandparents were there, my father, my mother, and my uh, my paternal and maternal uncles. In fact, my maternal uncle, uh, one of the founder uh, uh, members of the legislative assembly of the Madras state, as early as in the 1950s, and my paternal uh, uncle also was a member of the legislative assembly of the Madras uh, of the Tamil Nadu state later on. And uh, so, with all this background, so a lot of people, a lot of influential. Uh, i mean bureaucrats uh, used to come and visit us and uh, i mean i used to take lot of learning from them the way they conduct themselves the way they approach and a lot of uh, i have uh, taken lot of uh, beautiful value additions from my father especially uh, because he was a man uh, with all his kindness compassion and empathy and being a professor and uh, inculcating the good habits for the students he used to encourage people motivate people inspire people and put them onto a better platform so wonderful to hear that uh, dr anbu uh, you were a marine uh, engineer so 
how was that profession uh, marine engineering is a very tough profession to be very frank with you because uh, even if i get uh, four hours to sleep so that is considered a luxury on board the ship we all think that the technical caliber of somebody is more important for a successful person but what actually matters most more than 85 percent of one's success is dependent on his ability to communicate convince and lead uh, how did uh, your grandfather uh, communicate with you to find you or help you find your soulmate <laughs> my father in law was the sp special prosecutor for emergency and my maternal grandfather was a senior police officer so they, were, they knew each other very well and my wife was born in 1976 so it was my uh, my grandfather who wrote the horoscope for my uh, my for my wife oh wow wow what a connection yeah. yes it initiated from there could you tell us about the shift from the marine engineering to going to life insurance advisory definitely. this transition what was the story behind this definitely sir definitely uh in the mid and late 90s i was a more of a technically qualified person i was the uh, senior chief engineer on board the i mean marine engineer on board the ships and uh, um and in the middle i was also a law assessor for our government of india a law assessor licensed by the controller of insurance under the ministry of finance those days we never had this uh, regulator irda so irda uh, came later in the in the late 90s we had this irda before that it was all, all under the ministry of finance under the controller of insurance so i was a law assessor for the marine hull and machinery insurance so that is the initial connect what i had with the insurance industry and as a law assessor my job is to quantify the Uh, because as a marine engineer and a postgraduate mechanical engineer i had the technical caliber to i mean assess the technical damages and technical losses and those days both the insurer as well as the insured both were uh, government organizations so the law assessor's role is a very important role like the present day uh, what we have uh, ombudsman uh, in the insurance industry like i mean right. those right. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, we had to, uh, as a law officer, we have to uh, assess the damages, the technical damages, and then quantify the technical loss into financial values. And sure. then you will have to, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, give a report which is legally binding also. So all the three connect comes. Right. So you have to be a technically qualified person as well as you will have to have that uh, financial caliber to, uh, I mean, uh, assess the assess and, uh, I mean, quantify the technical loss into financial values, and then give you a report which will be legally binding as well. So without any, uh, without any mistake in law. <clears throat> so uh, this prompted me to go on to study my uh, post graduation, uh, that is M Com in banking and insurance management, and all this before me joining uh, the private life insurance uh, industry. I want to ask this question in one line. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, what is that one best moment you have achieved while working in life insurance uh, what i feel is uh, it is truly uh, close to my heart when you give a life insurance policy to somebody you are securing the life of a, not just one person but the entire family the happiest moment you had in your journey with ipro uh, in one of the international star clubs in uh, amsterdam um, that was a big screen uh, that was the that was the gala uh, that was the award ceremony and uh, we had the uh, head of agency mr pranav mishra i mean suddenly right. there was a video about me and it ran for about 10 15 minutes in the huge uh, auditorium and uh, which i right. never, uh, i was not aware of it and that was one of the happiest moments in my life and the second happiest moment was uh, the present uh, zonal head our head of zone our senior vice president mr manigandan uh i mean with this uh, support and encouragement uh, my i was able to relive my entire maritime life with my family we heard that you gained a lot of wealth for a customer by adding a single word in contract can you share that experience yes 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 to us so as i told you i am also a qualified uh, legal advisor as well so right. in one of the moments it so happened that one of my uh, prospective uh, one of my prospects he was building a <clears throat> an independent house in ananagar in chennai and the cost of the uh, house it's an independent house the cost of the house was running to several crores of money so he is a uh, i mean he is a medical practitioner once it so happened that i went to meet him for a regular uh, uh, i mean regular medical examination uh, for my eye he is an eye doctor so i went to meet him and uh, he know, he knew that i i am also constructing a house in ananagar that particular point of time this was this happened in the year 2018 1780 and he asked me uh, and how do you manage this uh, this uh, gst he said i said what gst he said uh, the service tax is replaced by gst now 
and uh, uh, i mean my auditor said that uh, it will be around 15 to 20% the gst will be uh, applied on the total construction cost of the house uh, so that is the moment uh, i had to intervene i i have to tell him that uh, for a, a single independent construction for a original construction when you are doing it right from plinth and foundation uh, there is a, GS, a gst exemption for this particular uh, true true so i told him that this is a gst exemption clause and uh, you need to explain this to the auditor so he explained this to the auditor i spoke to the auditor and uh, in this process uh, almost the client uh, the prospect saved about uh, close to 1 crore of money and uh, then he asked me uh, how much is your fee you tell me i have to give you he said i said uh, i don't want any fee you make this investment in your name in icici prudential and i'll help you for that i will always say that uh, inside learn only you have this earn the more and more learn learning happens more and more earning happens i'm um, moving to the next segment of my pillars of strength it is a rapid fire question so you have to give me in one word only who has been the person uh, that has inspired you the most in life uh, the one person who inspired the most is my my life partner uh, dr sunita anbu okay and who is the one person you can rely on during your darkest and most challenging times uh, there are so many people but uh, if you have to name one person it is my father okay and what keeps you consistent in your career journey rapid fire uh my passion for this uh, for this industry my love for this industry okay name few values instilled by your parents and grandparents that it still inspires you uh the values of uh, kindness the values of empathy the values of compassion the values of love affectionate care for people uh the i mean these are the values which uh, which were strongly imbibed in me last question the rapid fire uh thousands of people look up to you in this industry one liner one advice what would that be so uh, one the, the most important thing is learning i mean learning should it should be always consistent you should always keep learning you should be a lifelong student that is what i'll say yeah all right with this we will now be very happy and joyful to uh, be joined on this chat show will be uh, mrs sunita anbu and of course will be joined by your kids as well So yes, let's call them on the show now. So family of Dr. Anbu, all the very best. So four pages with I have, and the back side of the paper, okay, you will write never. So one side is I have, the other side is never. All four pages. I will ask you questions. If you have done that, you will put and say I have. If you have not done that, you will say never. Okay. Here we go with the question number one. never have i ever traveled to a foreign country wow wonderful good start never have i ever learned a foreign language <laughs> i like this okay never have i ever lied about my age Akhil and never. Oh, all of you never. So wonderful. Okay. Next question. Here it comes to you. Never have I ever cut my own hair. Oh yes, Doctor Anwar is done. Madam is done. And yeah. Akhil and Akhil, no. Okay, no problem. No problem. Uh, never have I ever worked with someone I couldn't stand at all. For example, I hate the person, or I have to be working with the person, or doing a classroom homework. I have, I have, I have. Wow, <laughs> Akhil also is saying I have. Wonderful. Okay, next one. Never have I ever spent an entire day watching TV. never i have oh wow okay i'm going to add a new question never have i ever got scolded by my father <laughs> i have i have i have i have wow this is amazing okay never have i ever googled someone before meeting them i have i have did you google about me before coming to chat show with me <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay 
never have i ever been in a talent show before <laughs> akilan is confused okay never have i ever regifted a gift never never i have yes dr ko i like your answers okay <laughs> never have i ever set something on fire while cooking this goes to dr ambu mostly oh she has <laughs> never 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 okay i have a question to ask to akhil and akhil what do you admire the most about your father okay i admire the most about my dad how he always has my back when i'm facing an issue so uh, i also admire how he is always uh, passionate about learning so i don't even need google in my house he for every question i have my dad <laughs> always has the answer so, so wonderful uh, and uh, mukul and you tell me what do you love the most about your mother uh her cooking food uh the speeches her dressing senses <laughs> wow i can see that it is the women who are the most creative no matter what it is thank you thank you so much look at all the goddess they are all very creative okay now this question is to mukilan now mukilan what makes you proud of your dad his leadership skills is uh, knowledge mm -hmm. um is uh, intelligence is love and affectional affectionate care for others wow and akilan what makes you proud of your mother my mom okay uh i am i'm proud of how she's always persistent like any work she has she's always persistent and she strives to complete it on time and i'm also passionate about i'm also proud of how she's passionate and how she has this perfection towards every work she does so that's it so beautiful okay last question to akhil and akhil who do you love the most dad or mom I love both of them. <laughs> no, no, you gotta choose one. You gotta choose one. I can't choose one because they're the same to me. Very good. Mokilan, what do you have to say? Don't say same thing. Both of them, my love. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, sir. Uh, anything that you have not told your dad so far about him that you want to say it now. This is your time. Akilan, go first. Um, I'm really proud of you, Dad. Oh, you. thank you. <laughs> Akilan, you tell me. Uh, you're an awesome dad. And uh, ma'am, you tell me there's something that you have never told him, and today is the time that I would want you to convey it to him. He always leads me. For his name, Anbu. Anbu means love. So love leads me. leads my life <laughs> so what more do i want <laughs> so he's that's there. such a beautiful yeah. thing to hear and i must as i'm wrapping this entire episode up a bande acche hai i want to tell you something today that uh, having dr anbu in the show has lifted the entire uh, episode or the entire series to a next level not because of the fact that he is a great achiever because he still a seeker he still a learner and he still goes out there each day to make sure he owns the day by humanity by gratitude and then comes earning and that is what defines him and if i were to wrap up the entire family connection here i can see the whole family so much in love with each other and that is because your parents were such and i think Sabri Mala is still blessing the family and yes. will continue to bless the family yes. forever to come. Yes. It's been a wonderful chat show. I'm sure you have learned so much as an audience. It was great to have you all. Before I sign off on this episode, I want to say hands down to Dr. Anbu and family and achievements. To much more and much more. Bande achhe hai, sachhe hai, aur in ki kahaniya kuch dil se hai. और पूरी सच्चाई के साथ है विल सी यू द नेक्स्ट एपिसोड अंटिल देन एज द एडवाइजर से बी हैप्पी 
and they will take care of your lives thank you so much thank you thank, thank you, you so much, much.